in the tech sector, just in the tech sector alone. But now a reverse brain drain is underway, as many top foreign students are taking their degrees and going back home, particularly to booming economies in India and China. We did a survey in uh, uh, September 2008. We found was that only 10% of the Chinese uh, students in the United States want to stay permanently. China is working hard to get American-trained scholars to return. Chinese officials came to Los Angeles to show students and professors at UCLA a sparkling new Chinese science park. This is a new high-tech hub that holds promise for miracles. China needs more and more high-tech people. For James Yi, with his new UCLA PhD in math, China's growing research and development is beckoning. A lot of uh, jobs positions disappeared in the United States, and more and more students with advanced degrees prefer to go back. Even some long-established and successful immigrants are packing up and going home. We are grateful to the education we received. We are grateful to the generosity of the people in the United States. Shi Ying Gong earned his PhD in molecular biophysics at Johns Hopkins. A naturalized American citizen, he was a professor at Princeton for more than a decade. But now he's back in China, leading the brand new School of Life Sciences at Tsinghua University in Beijing. If China can maintain this growth rate in both quality and quantity, China probably will overtake the United States in 20 years as the most advanced science and technology country in the world. Xi Ying Gong didn't go home empty-handed. How many of you have received their education in the U.S. and then chose to come back to China? <laughs> he recruited more than a dozen postdoctoral scientists educated in America to return to China with him.